children. Ako po ay isang Pilipino na nakatira ngayon sa South Australia at may dalawa po akong anak, si Stephanie and si Scarlett. So when I picked up Scarlett from kinder yesterday, the teacher handed me this statement of learning. Ito po yung statement of learning ni Scarlett from kinder. And allow me to read it to you because I'm just a proud mom right now. Scarlett's family initially explained that Scarlett was quite shy and quiet around new people and new environments. To begin with, Scarlett preferred to play alone and observe other children as began to get familiar with her new environment and predicted routines. As the year progressed, Scarlett developed positive relationship with educators who supported her to share her ideas and participate in small group learning. Scarlett quite often enjoyed moments of solitude and is happy to play and learn independently in the inside and outside learning environment. Scarlett is caring and always has respect and kindness towards others. Scarlett enjoys imaginative play and you will often find her creating houses in the block area or playing pretend families in the home corner. As the year has gone on, Scarlett has enjoyed the company of some other children. For example, Scarlett enjoyed participating in shared fair pretend play, expressing her ideas and using her imagination to play with other children. In term two, Scarlett was excited to see the baby chickens hatch at kindy. She participated in small group work about chickens, demonstrating dispositions of learning, including problem solving and confidence, as she exposed, contributed, and demonstrated increasing knowledge about living things. Scarlett has engaged in complex fine motor skills over the year, including creating houses in different designs at the making table, using resources and materials such as the hot glow guns, scissors, glow, and text us. Scarlett has enjoyed sharing her creation and achievements with educators over the year. Scarlett is a friendly member of the kindergarten and stayed calm if any social problems arose. Scarlett found joy in talking about her family with educators and was excited to look out for her older sister, Keep Stephanie. Keep walking! When the kindergarten had school visits in term three. Just recently, she really enjoyed her mom coming in to talk to the children about her home country, the Philippines. Scarlett was excited, animated, and joined in conversation with her mom, Prinny, as she talked to the children. Alright, hi everyone! So can we say, maybe we'll say Nankari Nareggi, will we? Nankari Nareggi and what's your mum's name, Scarlett? Can you introduce Franny. Okay, um, my name is Franny and I'm Scarlett's mom. So. <laughs> so in the Philippines, when you say hello or how are you, we say, Kumusta po kayo? Kumusta means how are you? So, Kumusta? Kumusta. Kumusta. Yes. Yeah, Kumusta. Okay. So, actually, I can speak two dialects. In the Philippines, there are about 120 local dialects. So, that's a lot of dialects to, <laughs> to learn, but I can only speak two of those, um, which is Cebuano and Tagalog. So, Tagalog is the national language in the Philippines. But a lot of them nowadays, they can speak English. So that's where I learned English from school. So I went ah. to school. <laughs> you show us on the map yeah. where the Philippines are. So, oh, no, this is actually Australia. Uh, talking yeah. about my, uh, uh, yeah, do you have I've got one, one actually. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, I'm wearing a, what you can see here is the color of the Philippine flag. So that's a Philippine flag there. No. Who can tell me what are the colors in the Philippine flag? Blue and red. And? Yellow. And yellow. Yellow and? Red. And white as well. So red in the bottom, blue at the top, three stars, and one sun in the middle. And there's white as well. So this is the globe. I was gonna bring a globe, so Australia. Where Australia's are we? over here. Oh yeah, that's Australia here. So Philippines is that's a Philippine map, by the way. So Philippines is 
Where is the Philippine Sea? Ah, uh, it's here. So it looks like what is in my T-shirt. So, um, so from Adelaide, it's about ten hours flight from Adelaide to Manila, which is where the international airport is located. But um, at the moment, there's no direct flight from Adelaide to Manila. So either you have to go to Melbourne or Sydney or Malaysia or Singapore and then to Manila. Um, yeah, so 10 hours flight. Yeah, so no it's way. a long way away, but it's not yeah. as far as some countries. No, so I actually have a Philippine flag with me. If you can have a closer look. So have a look. There, the color, now I can see the color. There. Because this is small and that's small as well, so I have a map here as well. Hold up there. Do you want to have a look? So that's the Philippine map. And where I come from, it's in the middle of the Philippines, which is called the Negros. Island, so that's where I come from. Ah, so just say the purple color. Yeah, purple. And if you want to see that, yeah, yes, there you go. Can you see that? I can't. Yeah. Can you see that? I can't yes, see it. So Negros is here. So and just that's where I come from. from. Yeah. Mm. But I've been here for thirteen years. Thirteen years. Thirteen years. Yeah. The last time I saw my family was seven years ago. So mm, that's a long time. Yeah, that's why I asked Joe if she could take a video of me so yeah. they can see me. <laughs> so Scarlett hasn't been to the Philippines, but I have another daughter. She's nine, uh, turning nine. So we went there in 2015, but she was very sick. So I, with COVID and you know all this stuff going on around the world, so I decided not to go overseas for now yeah. Yeah, so it's um, safer to stay here i think <laughs> so in the philippines we have a staple diet we eat but do you know what's this what's in the bag scarlet tell them what's in the bag Mommy, it looks like noodles that's not noodles okay what's that one rice rice so we eat rice three times a day and mommy, mommy, <laughs> I eat rice and soup. Yeah, you do. So do you eat rice for breakfast, Scarlett? Uh, no. No? I only eat banana and milk. And cereal? Yeah, and cereal. Yeah. And milk. And milk. And what else do you eat at home? Uh, for dinner? Yeah. I eat rice and soup and some noodles. Noodles and bread. And bread. So, what about you? Who can tell me what do you usually eat at home? Raise uh, your hand. Uh, oh, yeah, you first. I eat. I eat so short all night at home. And, uh, and I eat noodles to eat beef noodles. But we get egg hot noodles. Oh, what about you? What um, I eat noodles. Lots of broccoli, silver beets, parsley, and potatoes. Mommy, even every time. Sorry, Scarlett, give me the other one. One time I had that in Costa Rica. Oh, yes. It was a nice thing. Oh, yeah. What about Calvin? What do you usually eat? Eating. Was that noodles, did you say? I, yeah, I think noodles. Most of them eat noodles. <laughs> yes, yeah, Scarlett eat noodles a lot. So you got lots of rice. A little bit of rice. Who wants to feel what it feels um, 
the texture of the rice. Sorry, I. <laughs> okay. It's not much. Just intense. remember, like when Caleb says, yeah. just, you need to wait a little bit. So, yes. Yeah. Put your hand yeah, out. Give it a little bit. One by one. You can feel them. Yeah, I'm just sure feel the texture of the rice at home. Yeah. Put that in your pie pan. Have you seen them at home? I'm sure everyone's had rice at home. You have some other good things. I have. You have? Yeah, you eat rice as well. Me too. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. something different now about cleaning her house off. Yeah, so instead of using vacuums, we use this for cleaning inside our houses and sweeping, and sweeping the floors. So this is made up of rice husk. So since we're talking about rice, we use the husk for this. We call this walis tambo. So this is how we clean our floors by sweeping. So we, we don't have vacuum. We, well, I grew up in the province, in the mountains, so we did not have oh. electricity, we did not have running water in the house, and yeah, it was, it's different, completely different to... Mommy, we have water now. Now, yes, we have water. <laughs> you just turn the tap on and yeah, then... Yeah, we just turn the tap on and then put some water in our cup. I know, and you can reach the sink now, because you're growing. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. So, um... So you had mud floors, you said. Yeah. So not carpet not floors. Not carpet floors. Mud floors. Or we have tiles as well. Yeah. And yeah. special brooms like that to like sweep this. the floor. Yeah. Do you want to feel it? Feel yeah. it's... Yeah. I can't pass. Feel Can you I please pass know. them around? Yeah. 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 It's not a witch's broom. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, I 
in the garden as well yeah yeah but sometimes i don't <laughs> <laughs> what else you want to tell them in, hmm? um number five that's all that's I all well i think we should give benny and scarlett a really big clap for that Pinch out your flag on the wall. I hear that one there. Oh, it's there. This one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, yeah actually. It. So, what we'll do is we'll put Scarlett's picture up there too with the flag. Yeah. And it can be on the wall there. Oh, that's good. Yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah. So, I have something to tell. Um, if, the, if the red is on top, it means war. So, you never make a mistake of putting the flag. The red color on top. So yeah, the red always has to go on the bottom. bottom. So the blue is always on top. Thank you so much. Yeah. That was really good. Scarlett is a curious learner and enjoyed exploring her world. She developed an interest in writing in term two. And you would often find her with her journal, practicing her writing and working with educators to learn new letters, digits, short words, and sounds. Scarlett's mark making has developed over the last three terms and her drawings, art and writing, have become more sophisticated and detailed. At the start of the year, Scarlett showed an interest in shapes, learning shape names and exploring the different features of shapes as she built shape towers and had a go at drawing them. Scarlett's numeracy has developed over the year, including her understanding of the standard number system as she quantifies her work through play and learning. Scarlett enjoys a range of literacy experiences and she often writing, making cards, and enjoy books being read to her. Scarlett's interest in writing has supported her to develop positive social interactions with others and the confidence to express and share her ideas through shared learning. 
Scarlett has been practicing her name writing as part of the morning routine at Kindy each day. At the beginning of term two, Scarlett was able to write some of her name and as the year has progressed with the help of her name card, she is now able to write her name with good formation in most of the letters. Hello guys! Today we're watching Shirley Shoe and we're going to dance us in the night. And I'm playing with my body. Scarlett enjoys outdoor play on the swings and you will often find her cooking in the sand pit. Scarlett enjoys engaging in reciprocal shared conversation with educators and will have a smile on her face when she shares her ideas and learning. Scarlett can still be quite shy, however, educators are continuing to encourage Scarlett to join in on group learning and express her ideas through shared play experiences. Scarlett has participated in literacy learning and enjoys clapping out the syllables in her name and is working towards understanding some initial letter sounds and rhyming words. Scarlett is continuing to build her confidence. For example, she recently participated in our musical muscles program and is beginning to join in with some singing and movement in the whole group session. So that's about it guys and I'm very happy with this report, yes, and she's only four and a half years old and I'm sure she's got a bright future ahead. Thank you so much for watching my vlog for today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel Pinai Prini in South Australia. Until next time, bye!